Welcome to your main bedroom. We've got dual walk-in robes. This side we have a great little sit-down area so you can control the light, cool or warm. You can backlight your mirror. This is a hay flea system, it doesn't mist up. Um, it's really great for makeup application, I should know. We also have this lovely curved wall here which I think is beautiful. And I've used all the different um, wall coverings in different bedrooms. So this one, we obviously have a grey palette. We have a king size bed. We've got more robes here. And I mean, if, you, if you've got more clothes than you can fit into all these robes, then I don't know. You need to give some away. This is a king size bed too. It is absolutely glorious. The view from here out onto that little creek and the trees is just spectacular. It feels so connected to the Australian landscape and it's really influenced the colours that I've used in this room. You've got greens, you've got greys. Listen to the cicadas, they're just, um, it's just paradise, I love it. We also got a little balcony here, so you know, you can sit here, your kids can be elsewhere and you've got a little bit of tranquil privacy just here for you. Um, and thankfully it is fairly private because we also have the main bedroom um, ensuite. We have a bathtub here, so you could sit in the bath, listen to the river, and it's just a serene, tranquil retreat. I've used uh, wallpaper in the bathrooms, in two of the bathrooms. Um, that looks like rope, but it's actually vinyl. So that'll wear really nicely in here. We also have these shears for daytime privacy. We've got shutters for privacy. And you have that beautiful big shower here, just behind me. Again, with our curved wall. And I've used penny rounds here because, you know, I just I thought they were really interesting. It's a tonal palette. I am deliberately used a minimalistic, very natural feeling very tactile palette in the house. And this bathroom is, I think, just spectacular. 